Red diamonds on the white one. And last, Trampana. Wisdom lies stripped of all that is Lord. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you, I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you? I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hatter's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one stops to its knees. Two virtues laws or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath-baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Let us begin! Crowd, race a Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Alone he fights on, but inside does he weep for those who have gone. No mercy! I shall never oh. retreat, not one step! You shall perish, evil poor! No. So 
a fight quite so glorious for showing such verve each knight was victorious yet in tourneys as in life but one champion may reign today he is the one praised be his name he felt a whole host slew the most to Geralt of Rithia who the strength of lions boasts he sails through all trials each test he passed with ease but now awaits the last? Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name, though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lashis Tony! I wish both combatants good fortune and fame! They sink the grounds, the titans locked stairs, ferocious and spry as wolves hunting hares! <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, a victor, a champion, the unequaled and silent Gregoire de Gorgon! Alta Frifia! This year's champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is wave. 